Michael Irwin. Nate Irwin. Doug Wesaka. <laughs> the folk show. Big, and then, oh, and then, did you tell her about the building and Weber Bread and all that stuff here too? No, this this whole block was the Weber's Bread plant. Right. So Silo was the grain mm -hmm. thing. And this was the storage area for finished product. And then the Nancaros bought it and um, and just basically rented it out to whatever. When I came into space, there was no electricity, no lights, no walls, no yeah. nothing. Wow. I put in all the lights and walls and Big and. It was so worth it. Yeah. <laughs> this used to be open so uh, the forklifts could put the bread up here. <laughs> so they would drive in and put the bread up here. Really? Yeah. But so, it's, it's been such um, a growth of artists and artist studios and yeah. um, galleries and stores that put artwork in them. So kind of a nice, you can see the artwork in a, in a home setting. And uh, so it makes it kind of a nice, different type of gallery. Yeah. yeah, and that's super unique. How would you describe Santa Barbara's art scene and being an artist in Santa Barbara as compared to other places like Los Angeles? Well, the nice thing is, is that it's it's always been. Um, I mean, there have been galleries like Sullivan Goss, and you know some of the different galleries that are in town. Mm -hmm. And so, um, having a studio here. A lot of the times we would just do shows in our studios and we would invite artists in and, and have a guest artist like Chris Johnson or Trevor Norris or um, you know lots of different people. Mm -hmm. Your work would be seen in lots of places and a lot of times people would like to come to see the studio. Yeah. It wasn't quite as a intense gallery scene as LA. But uh, you could show there and have your galleries here. I think everybody here in the art community too, which is not only just visual artists, but I think it's a really supportive atmosphere. Mm -hmm. Everybody tries to support each other, and um, you know whether it's going to performance or going to a gallery opening or whatever, or just telling somebody, oh, my friend Mike is a painter, or you know, or whatever. Right. And so it's it's really we're really fortunate in that era. And then you know there's been so many pretty like internationally known artists who. Have been through Southern Cal and Santa Barbara area one time or another, and um, so you know we're pretty lucky to stand on their shoulders and, and uh, reap the benefits. Yeah, it's it's a special place, and you know Mike has been here for forever, and yeah. since he was like six <laughs> years old. Yeah, no, yeah. A long time. <laughs> since he was six years old, so you know, thirty-six. He was born now. here. In the <laughs> <morning. laughs> His father yeah. feels like it. <laughs> Watching it all evolve. I mean, to see the yeah. people move in and get mm -hmm. to know them and and. Uh, yeah, it's it's been um, it's been wonderful. I mean, and then but the other part of it is it's a nice big space with high ceilings, mm -hmm. yeah. and it shows art well. I mean, even though it's funky, because it is. It's gotta be. <laughs> and um, but it cleans up, and and yeah. Doug is always inviting guest artists in to show their yeah. work, and we'll give you know artists down from San Francisco a wall to show and yeah. advertiser show, and it's just so wonderful to have a space that can whimsically change yeah. on a dime and say, oh, you need a show? Okay, let's do it. And then we do it. And yeah. it's just, there's a vitality to that that um, is missing in, in a formal gallery. I mean, you yeah. just can't invite people in and go, yeah, you could take that wall and, and we'll have you be part of the show. So it's been, uh, I don't know, the space has just been a dream. Yeah, and with the with the pandemic and kind of this this whole zone shutting down, it's almost like a um, a way to see what it would look like without mm -hmm. without that in a way, um, because we weren't able to really have shows and, and anything like that. So yeah. it's been really nice to be able to have open studios and have people up here and invite them back up and, and that kind of thing. So yeah. So from your perspective and maybe what you've heard through the grapevine of the community, what do you think? this development would do to the art scene and the neighborhood of the funk zone? Crush the block. Yeah. I mean, literally, I mean, it's, I think some of the city and some of the planet, I mean, it's, on paper it looks fair, but it's just a little too large. It doesn't really have the heart and soul of the neighborhood in its bosom. You know, it's not taking that consideration at all. It's. I think they're trying to do too much in just one single spot. You know, we're going to help solve the 
uh, housing problem with this massive development, which, you know, I mean, not, it's not only going to displace so many other people working in creative endeavors, but um, I think it's just not really tailored to the area at all. I think it doesn't really take in, into consideration as much of the spirit of the funk zone and uh, it, it would extinguish a lot of the vitality and um, creative spirit here, I mean, here. You know that they've approved that hotel right here. Ah, uh, yeah. The, from from uh, Yana and Alley mm. all would the way to- Would that be right behind Mama Dog then? Yeah, it'd be, and, and that's where um, um, Wally has his studio is right there. Oh, uh, so he Wallace's is art. Place. Yeah. Yeah, so he would be gone. Mm. And um, that's already been approved. It's going to happen. Jeez. It's it's already gone through the, the yeah. work. And so that whole container area that's behind Llama Dog is going to be a gigantic hotel. Like How many stories? What's that? How many stories? I don't know. I didn't see the, yeah. the, the scale of it, but it's going to be like the Red Lion or Fess Parker's wow. thing that he did there. It's going to be a big one. Oh, no. And so that's already going in. So then if they did that here, it'd be gone. Yeah. There yeah. would be no studios. There would be no place to work. Yeah. And how portable is it for the people who are going to be moving in there? It's like, yeah. really? Yeah. yeah. So if they won the lottery, oh, yeah, I'll buy it once here. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> right. It'd be, you know, a yeah. million half for a, for a condo. Yeah. yeah. Two million. By the beach. Walk to the beach. Yeah, exactly. And sure. exactly. a half a parking spot. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Right. Yeah. Uh, what do you think? the neighborhood can do to rally behind the arts in this moment? I think just show up at the, at the planning commission meetings mm -hmm. and, and represent the area and say, what about us? Mm -hmm. what, what are we gonna do? Mm -hmm. And um, I mean, like, like we've said, I mean, I've been down here for f over 40 years, since yeah. 1980 mm -hmm. and 79-80 uh, and um, it's just been so wonderful to have a place that you could get down in. And there won't be any more places like that. Yeah. You know? Yeah, and then, you know, it's also kind of a shame, too, like all the different spots of all the artists here on this blog. And then, well, especially well, like Eric Carter and the ladies out there, the oh, greenhouse, the greenhouse yeah. are heading a lot of the um, media attention toward, you know, the plight here of the funk zone, too. Just being there in force and supporting the keep the funk zone, you know, funk and and voicing your opinions, I think, is a good way for people to maybe just reconsider or say, well, maybe we can come to a compromise or I don't know, just yeah, keep the arts here in the funk zone a little bit more <laughs> or longer. Yeah, it's what draws people in for all these restaurants yes. and wine bars yeah. and and clothing stores and surf shops mm -hmm. and. It's, it, I mean, it has that ambiance that no place anywhere has that I know of, except maybe Soho back in the yeah. 60s. Yeah. So it's, it's, it's really a, an unusual conglomeration of creatives, yeah. and it will go away if they build this thing, I think. Yeah. Uh, well, the, the draw will be gone. Exactly. The, 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 the yeah. reason that people really come here mm -hmm. is because it's funky. Yeah. Yeah. It's not because it's condos and shops. Yeah. yeah.